Sometimes things just click, they work in a kind of magic way, and other times they feel like they can fall apart a little bit, maybe even just completely derail, but then they somehow land back on a path that's a little bit exciting, a little bit new. That was very much the case with Collider Sky. Hi, my name is Steve, composer, engineer, and lecturer, and welcome back to the channel. Today is another exciting day because it's a sneak peek at what is coming to Piano Book hopefully very soon. Collider Sky, the Swarm Sparkles guitar library that'll hopefully add a little bit of a wash and a cool chorusy vibe to your next track. I will be submitting this to Piano Book, the online community of samplers and a great resource for composers looking for new sounds. It's a wonderful community and a pleasure to take part of, and I really hope that you'll be able to take the time to take a look, maybe even pop in a comment or two. Collider Sky came about after watching a Christian Henson video where he showed his electrical Celeste becoming part of what he called a sparkles library. This idea of slowly and irregularly hitting a note, like a kind of slow tremolo type feel. That sort of got me thinking over the next couple of days. I wonder if I could do something like that. I'm a guitarist myself. Guitar sounds like it might be suited to that sort of thing. But what if I could do that with all of the delay pedals I own? For anyone that knows me as a guitarist, they know that pretty much half my pedal board is just delay pedals of various kinds. I do love that kind of delayed into reverb sort of sound. So this was very much up my alley and something I wanted to kind of maybe just experiment a little bit. With. I just couldn't resist trying this out. I recorded these guitar sparkles, or this idea of this slow tremolo type sound, initially into my door, just DI straight in. I then took those DI samples and ran them through all of the guitar pedals I own that could do some form of delay. Lots of different ones from Boss, from Source Audio, Carl Martin, a couple of Meris pedals, some great ones from Earthquaker, lots of different ones. I ended up with eight different delay textures. So essentially this clean guitar signal that is hitting these irregular plucks is then being fed through all these different delays which is creating even more plucky type textures. I took all these sounds, put them through my guitar amp, through the UA Oxbox, and gave it this really rich guitar sort of sound, spread them out, grouped them up into different stereo groups, and created a wash of these plucky type textures. Honestly, it was about here that I felt like it was going a little bit wrong. It wasn't quite working out the way that I expected it to. I'm not really too sure what I expected it to sound like, but it just wasn't sounding how I thought it would be. It's a weird sort of thing when you realize that you're not entirely sure where this is heading. I think one of the largest problems was just simply hearing a single note constantly played through lots of delays. It just felt like a buildup of sound that wasn't going to amount to much. The magic would come later. I persevered and built the sample library, bringing them all into contact and structuring it so that I could play the first few notes and when those first few notes hit I realized the potential that this might still have. Perseverance is a good lesson for everybody really. It's just a, a matter of sometimes things need to be binned because they just didn't work out. Other times just a little bit more effort, a little more exploration and you could end up with something really cool. So what did I end up with? There was one clean signal, and that was my constant slow plucking of those sounds on the guitar strings. Different registers, different octaves. I then had four stereo pairings, so two different types of delays panned left and right to various degrees. All four of these layers can then be controlled by a single master volume, so you can blend it in with the clean sample as much as you like. I then took this whole sound and ran it through some tape emulation and grainy saturation, that kind of lovely stuff, to create a little bit of a warpy, weird texture that you could blend in or have on its own right. And then because I thought there might be a benefit of maybe a little bit of a pad even sound underneath, I took one of the guitar samples, brought it into granular synthesis and created a pad like texture out of it. That kind of helps glue it together in some aspects. It might be what you're looking for. All of this goes through two different filters, a low pass and a high pass. Then it goes through an EQ, a low and high shelf EQ to be able to just kind of bring out the sparkle or the low end if you're after that. Then it goes through another delay. I couldn't resist. The tape delay just adds this nice little tail and it goes really well into the two types of reverbs that you have. There are some amazing performance controls as well. Do check the instrument information button. That way it will give you an idea of what CC parameters are mapped to 
and what each of these layers is embodying. There's a more in-depth guide that's going to be inside the instrument, so do check for the user manual to just read up a little bit more if you're interested. The initial patch that you load up is something that I quite liked the sound of, so I left it saved in that format. But you can experiment as much as you like and, and really tailor the sound to how you want it. it. Creates a beautiful wash of cascading, swarming, sparkly type tones. Very kind of, in a way, unexpected a little bit. I think given how difficult it, it sort of was to get to this point, I was a little bit blown away by the results and I hope you are too. I would love for you to try it out. The link will be in the description as soon as it's available up on Piano Book. So check back if you haven't got a link yet, maybe in a couple of days it will have one. So I would love it if you could check it out. As soon as it's available, the link will be in the description as soon as it's up on the Piano Book website. While you're there, why not subscribe? Join in on the fun. It's a really great resource for all of these different sounds but also it's a great way to start your sampler's journey. I would love it if you subscribe to this channel as well. If you want to know more about how I make these instruments, subscribing will give you the option to see me pull them apart and work out what it is that I've done to build them the way that they've been created. If you've enjoyed this instrument, I would love a little comment to mention it or maybe a like to let me know we're heading in the right direction. Otherwise, catch you next time.